great, or you can just walk around and put it here on the stand behind me. Look who's here. Good evening, and welcome to Rejoice, a worship concert presented by Hosanna Children's Choir. My name is Emily Pettit, and I serve as the director of Children's Choirs here at Germantown Baptist Church. It is such an honor to be standing alongside these gifted and dedicated young worship leaders. And I just wanna say a quick thank you to our GBC family. Thank you to our staff for your continued support and encouragement. Also, parents and grandparents, I wanna thank you. Because of you, these precious children are in place tonight. You're the ones bringing them every week. You're the ones encouraging them to sing and to play instruments unto the Lord. And you're the ones playing these songs over and over and over. So thank you, I applaud you. Yes, yes, thank you parents. We applaud your efforts and speaking as a mom of three 18 year olds, I want you to know that it matters. Keep. Keep it up, keep up the good work, and keep building that firm foundation of faith. Mr. Mark French and I have the privilege of working with some amazing volunteers. And at this time, we just want to recognize them. So volunteers, if you serve on a Sunday morning, whether it's in children's Sunday school or in the nursery, or if you serve on a Wednesday night in word and worship, would you please stand? Don't be shy, please stand. Church family, let's thank these volunteers. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you, truly, thank you for sharing the gospel week after week and showing the love of God to these children. Well, we're excited to share with you what we've been working on since January. Using Christy and Daniel Simpson's beautifully arranged songs, we've learned over 30 scripture passages, 30 verses of scripture, and for those sharing individual verses tonight, even more than that. We are praying that you will be blessed, inspired, and even moved by the very presence of the Lord tonight. And one last thing I wanna share with you, the very last song of the concert, we're gonna be recognizing our fifth grade Hosanna graduates. During the last song, they'll be coming forward for a final bow, if you will, so have your thunderous applause ready. But I love these fifth graders. Oh wow, they have just, they have worked so hard developing their skills and talents to glorify the Lord, and I'm really gonna miss them. Pastor Dawson, you have some outstanding young worship leaders headed your way this fall and under authority. Well, once again, we're so glad you're here. Choir, it's time to take our place, so would you go ahead and stand, everyone on your spot? And I'd like to welcome our senior pastor, Dr. Matt Brown, to the stage at this time as he opens in a word of prayer. Pastor Matt. Thank you, Emily. For those of you who are guests with us here tonight, you're not members of Germantown Baptist Church, we just want you to know how welcome you are. Thank you for being here. If you are a guest of ours, would you just please raise your hand so we can see you? Awesome. Thank you so much for all of you being here. We appreciate you taking the time to come and listen to our children sing. We want you to feel welcome. We want you to feel like part of the family. Many of you came here to eat tonight, and I want to say a special thank you to Chef Aaron. He is our food services director. Chef is standing right there. Thank you, Chef Aaron. <clears throat> He had a big day of work today to get prepared for tonight. We're so thankful for a great, great night. And uh, we want to thank you for the opportunity again to be here. I'm going to open us with a word of prayer. Hopefully you got a program when you came in the back. Make sure that you get one of those, a great piece that you have uh, all of our kids' names on here in the course of the program for tonight. But we are, um, we are grateful that you take the time to come and spend with us. Let me pray for us, and I'm going to get off the stage and let our children do their thing and lead us in worship. All right? Would you, would you bow with me? Father, we thank you so much for the privilege of being here tonight to gather, to worship your son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to lift up his name. And thank you that the words of praise will be led by these children. Father, we thank you that you have given them the words to express thanks and gratitude to you. 
And may those words and their spirit in which they do this lead us to worship. But Father, we thank you for those who have come tonight as our guests. We are so thankful that they would come. Thank you, Lord, for just the family atmosphere that you've given us and a sense of unity here. Lord, we do all of this for your sake and the honor and glory of your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray all of these things in his name. Amen. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on until completion, until the day of Christ Jesus. Grace and peace to you from God our Father. Grace and peace to you from the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you, from God our Father. Grace and peace to you, from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. Good work. 
Philippians 1, 7 through 11. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart, and whether I'm in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you in the affection of Jesus Christ. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. So that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. It didn't happen all at once We made little choices, compromises Turned our focus to ourselves Forgot what it's all about How did it even get this far? Where we look around and realize We've forgotten who we are And what it's all about But I know this We're commanded to love, love, love I know this We need His help from above I pray, I pray, I pray that your love may abound Philippians 1, 12 through 4, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. But without fear. Philippians 1, 27 through 28, whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, for the faith of the gospel without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. <laughs> Whatever happens, whatever happens, conduct yourself with the gospel of Christ, worthy of the gospel. Yeah. 
Philippians 2, 1 through 4. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own... If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, any fellowship with the Spirit, any tenderness and compassion, Philippians 2, 5 through 11. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born into the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. 
Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. So at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature, God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. Being made in human likeness, being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself again by being obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus and every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself again by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the names that are above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the names above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the names that above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the names that above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the names that above every name. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name of the Father and name. God exalted him to the highest place and every knee will bow. But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. And be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. I once thought these things were revival, but now consider them worthless. Because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless. Oh. Counting it all is garbage. To gain Christ and become one with Him. Counting it all is garbage. I no longer count my righteousness yes. Through faith in Christ For it I, I want to know Christ I from the dead I, I want to know Christ
Philippians 4, 8 through 9. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is noble. Whatever is pure, wait. <laughs> whatever is lovely, whatever is and put it into practice and the God of peace Cheers. will be with you. Whatever you've received, whatever you have just put it into prayer. Philippians 4, 10 through 13. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, your concern. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in one. I can do all this through... Whatever the circumstances, and I know what it is to be in me. I have learned to be content. Whatever the circumstances, and I know what it is to have plenty.
Philippians 3:12 through 14. Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize which God has sent me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Keep these things. I don't mean to say that I've already reached perfection. 